Okay, so here we are, 2530 Granada Circle East. It's a three bed, two bath, two car garage, uh, about 1,800 square feet, and um, custom double gate, really big driveway. You could probably park about eight cars. Um, there is a small separate start of a drive right there, this little parking pad here. And this little area will ride right on up to that custom double gate. It's wide enough to park an RV, a uh, boat, uh, any kind of toys you might have. Okay, let's go on in and take a look inside. 10 foot ceilings throughout, so the ceilings are nice and high. Everything on the outside of the home has been recently painted. Okay, and you walk inside. At the entryway, you have uh, what could be either a small dining area here or is a living room or seating area. Um, same thing here. Could either be a dining area or a, a formal living room. Okay, it actually was being used as a, a big dining area. Okay. And then just off to the right, is the master bedroom. Um, solid bamboo floors throughout, um, tile in the kitchens and baths. You've got a set of French doors that go out onto the patio. Looks out into the backyard. Okay, long window up top. And then if we come to the right, got two closets, a regular size closet and a large walk-in. That's about six, six by eight, six by nine. Okay, and then the master bathroom has granite countertops, double sinks, a jacuzzi tub. Okay. Three windows, so a lot of natural light. Uh, a separate water closet. Okay, and then you have a linen closet. And then the walk-in, walk-around shower. all tile. Okay, we'll take you on out. Okay, and this little nook right here is perfect for a little pub table or a little cafe table to have breakfast or coffee. Kitchen is over to the right. Um, cherry wood cabinets and solid granite countertops and a black granite sink. All stainless steel appliances. Um, okay. Ceramic tile floors. Pantry closet here. So you've got plenty of storage. Try to step back a little. Okay. from the sink in the kitchen. This is the family room here. Again, lots of windows, another set of uh, French doors that lead out to the patio and to the backyard. But first I'll give you a peek into the garage. It's right off of the kitchen. Okay. There's a two-car garage, oversized. There's a built-in workbench. Air handler is out here in the ceiling. Um, it's from 2007. Uh, the roof is as well. <clears throat> Utility sink, washer dryer is included. Um, custom hurricane shutters for every single window and door in the house. So that's a really nice feature. Everything is custom made. Um, all of the hooks are already outside, so you just have to hang them and then secure them with the bolts. Okay, uh, air handler. This would be the short side of the yard, as you can see. A little quick peek. I don't know how well you can see, but I'll take you to the backyard. This is the side yard. Okay, it's a split plan, so now we'll go on out to uh, the other two bedrooms and bathroom.
Okay, and yet again, another door. It's a single French door, but it takes you right out to the backyard. And this is bedroom number two. And the bamboo floors throughout. Closet. It's uh, deeper than it looks. And then this would be the shared bath. Okay, again, granite countertops, wood cabinet. Nice tall ceilings, nice and bright again. And this one is just the shower. So it's not a, it's a step-in shower. And another linen closet here in the corner. So there's no lack of storage space in this house. Uh, this is a small office area. Okay. Just to give you an idea, that's a five foot desk. Uh, so there's extra room. Again, nice high ceilings, nice bright light. Okay, and then here's the third bedroom. Okay, this one has a bigger Closet. The other one's a little deeper. This one's a little longer. Your standard size closet. Okay. Maybe a look here. All right. Let's go on out and take you to the backyard. Backyard and patio are very, very big. Lots of room. Plenty of room if you want to pull. Come on out. The patio area is screened. It's all underneath the roof. Uh, you can extend it out so that it would also be covered. Um, the roof would also cover this slab if you wanted. Uh, this is ceramic tile. It matches the front entryway. Plenty of room for a table and a sectional, any kind of patio furniture you'd want out here. And then here's just a peek to the backyard. I'll take you out there. Okay. The whole property sits on just over a quarter acre, so it's 0.267 acre property. Okay, the backyard, it's really big, it's quiet, it's a quiet neighborhood. Okay, and then here's the custom double gate. It is 11 feet, an 11 foot opening. Okay, I'll just give you a quick quick peek. There's a little slab out here. You could add a pergola if you wanted. Um, again, plenty of room for a pool. This really is the only tree in the yard. Um, besides that one there in the, the corner, but it's, it's not in the way of anything. Um, here we go. So you can see here. Again, it's a big yard. Just give you a view from the back here so you can take a peek. Okay, and there is a well. There's irrigation throughout all of the front and all of the back. Uh, Rainbird system. Everything is functioning properly. Okay. And there you go. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.